Hello everyone. I am Dr. Vidhuvarsha. Today we will start with cell based gene therapy for beta thalassemic patient. You can write this for if they have asked questions like recent advances in management of beta thalassemic patient. Okay. So beta thalassemia in India it is one of the commonest single gene blood disorder. It is one of the commonest single gene blood disorder. Okay. So gene therapy for beta thalassemia patient is it is an FDA approved one. It is in short form we call Betty cell. It is Betty Beclo gene auto tem cell. It is an FDA approved is FDA approved first cell based gene therapy for beta thalassemia patient in both adult and pediatric what it contains it contains autologous CD34 hematopoietic stem cell that are transduced with BB305 lentiviral vector which codes for beta globin gene. Okay. In which age group this is being used? It is told in both adult and pediatric. So, in age group is between 5 to 50 years. Eligibility is the patient should be transfusion dependent beta thalassemic patient. It is a transfusion dependent beta thalassemic patient transfusion dependent is that patient have, should have received more than or equal to 100 ml per kg of prbc in a year or more than or equal to 8 transfusion per year in the previous two years they have been eligible for this cell based gene therapy okay it's eligibility so how it is being done it is a transfusion dependent beta thalassemic patient in this patient you give a granulocyte colony stimulating factor and Plerixafer, it is an immuno, immune, immunostimulant. It is used to mobilize the peripheral blood hematopoietic cells. So, these both are used to mobilize peripheral blood hematopoietic stem cells. So, peripheral blood hematopoietic stem cell. So after mobilization, they undergo a aphoresis that is the WBCs and platelets have been removed. Then these uh, mobilized hematopoietic stem cell will undergo a automated cell separation by using a system called Clinimax system. In this Clinimax system, this is used to isolate CD34 plus cell. Okay. This is used to isolate CD34 plus hematopoietic stem cell has been isolated. After isolation, this CD34 plus cell will undergo XYO activation. So, this XYO activation is taken by or done with help of cytokines, stem cell factor and thrombopoietin and these are transduced with a then these are transduced washed and transduced with this viral vector that is BB305 lentiviral vector 
then this cells are being cryopreserved after that the patient will undergo a myelo myelo ablation myelo ablation is carried with the help of bucellfen for 4 days after that the pa in a patient will undergo a therapeutic infusion of this betty cell dose is then infused uh, through intravenous fluid so this is how uh, the gene therapy is carried out in beta thalassemic transfusion dependent patient next we'll see the advantages of this advantages are there is a reduction in ineffective erythropoiesis second there is cha changes in the chelation therapy or improvement in the chelation therapy this is mainly done for transfusion dependent patients so there will be a transfusion independence next there is a reduction in the side effects what are the side effects that is iron overload so reducing in side effects like iron overload in which uh, in which patient will have cardiac cirrhosis uh, heart failure liver fibrosis hypothyroidism hypoparathyroidism hypogonadism growth retardation diabetes mellitus and uh, blood transfusion related infections so there will be a reduction in all of this next we'll see the disadvantages so adverse event can be likely due to with the betty cell include mucosal inflame inflammation so there can be a mucosal inflammation second pharyngeal inflammation third there can be a decreased appetite there can be stomatitis and they can also have fever pyrexia this are mainly can be due to conditioning regimes like how we we are conditioning with this cytokine stem cell factor thrombopoietin and these are being transfused with this lentiviral vector no? so these can be these disadvantages can be due to that the serious adverse effect are seen in patients receiving uh, gene therapy are mostly attributed to the myeloablative conditionings that include neutropenia thrombocytopenia and uh, veno occlusive liver disease so we'll see the what is the cost in uh, of this it will be a high cost it accounts for about 2 million dollars in indian currency it is equivalent to 17.4 crores in indian rupees okay this is about cell based gene therapy in beta thalassemic patient that is 